Where do you usually buy your clothes from? Like sort of high street, but sometimes I like to go in like charity shops. Mostly secondhand stuff. Like charity shops, actually. Thrift stores or like secondhand. Secondhand clothes too, mm -hmm. yes. Attitudes towards secondhand clothes have changed, where now just over two thirds of people are either buying or up for buying used clothes. The resale market has recently grown 21 times faster than retail. And who's responsible? You blasted kids. Uh, rude, but he's right. Us youngsters who are killing everything are driving the reselling trend, helping it become a disruptive force. So why has reselling and buying secondhand become so popular? Here's three reasons. The first is our desire for variety, which has a lot to do with it. When you're the most photographed generation in history, it seems like every event requires a fresh look for your feed. So selling our stuff and buying secondhand means that we can easily change up our wardrobes. Secondly, we're more aware of fashion sustainability problem. We are also buying more clothes than ever though. So maybe that doesn't quite stack up, but there's one reason we can all agree on. Dollar, dollar bill, yo. Well, for one, because it's cheaper. It's cheaper for me. You get designer stuff for cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> Factors that are most important for people when they're choosing where to buy or what clothing to buy um, is really value for money. And that is something that secondhand can offer to people. So people can trade up, they can buy brands they wouldn't necessarily be able to afford brand new. Now, reselling has exploded and dozens of apps have sprung up which look nothing like the old days. One of the biggest is Depop. Its pull with younger users is massive because it goes beyond just simply buying clothes. Up, 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 up. This is Isabella Verana, who is one of the top sellers on Depop in the world. The highest earners on Depop can earn up to six figures. People have been reselling for years and it's only so visible now because of social media and apps like Depop, which like get a lot of attention yeah. from media and stuff. It kind of hits the sweet spot of like, eBay, but Instagram, because you like and you follow. And what sort of clothes do you sell? Like, what would you say is the style? I think Rachel Green, when she was working at Ralph Lauren, kind of office wear, not too specific. <laughs> I'm not trying to sell the coolest stuff. I'm just selling stuff that I like and stuff that I'd wear. Like, styling is really important to me. I style everything in my photos, how I'd wear it. I'm just doing me, yeah. <laughs> Drops mic. <laughs> <laughs> Just in me. The popularity of Bella's store shows how Depop is bringing buyers and sellers together. You, the consumer, you want to buy from somebody that maybe you, um, you know, resonate with. You don't want to buy into, you know, this faceless organization where, um, you know, that authenticity is missing. So I think Depop kind of fills that space of, you know, this is a human being and I'm inspired by your work. Um, so it gives that human quality. However, reselling points to an obvious worry for the fashion industry. If people are buying more secondhand, then they're not buying new. So how is it coping? Some retailers are putting their money where their mouth is, partnering with or investing in resale platforms. In the luxury space, we've seen Burberry partner with The Real Real. Um, and then looking more towards the high street, we have H&M who has a 70% majority stake in Selpi, um, another resale platform. Other brands use resale apps to spot the most unique looks from sellers like Isabella and release their own versions of the most hyped items. It's easy work when you can see what's being liked and what's being sold. The resellers, how they are driving that narrative, that's very important because that is really the, the birthplace of, uh, of trends. And so, of course, a big brand is looking at that and seeing you know, what is resonating with their audience. Then there are the retailers who are hosting pop-ups to draw in shoppers who are less likely to buy new. But there are also brands who aren't on board and see reselling as a matter of trademark infringement. This is a problem when it comes to brand devaluation. There is that worry of you know, these kind of luxury players losing control and then that tarnishing um, yeah, the value of their brand. So what does it all mean? Our attitude to secondhand clothes has made reselling big. 
and research shows that there's an appetite across all ages. Some of the power has been handed back to us, forcing fashion retailers to innovate. But as the way we own things, from homes to music to films and cars, continues to lean towards renting and sharing, trickier challenges could lie ahead if fashion continues in this way. Peer-to-peer -peer swapping, that's become a really big thing, particularly with younger consumers. Um, they're really interested in swapping with friends or going to clothes swapping events as well. And that's going to be much harder for retailers to take part in. Hope you enjoyed the video. There was obviously a lot that we couldn't delve into more, including the clothes swapping and the sustainability element, but I'll put some links in the description below. Also, you can take our poll in the top right-hand corner and don't forget to like and subscribe.